Hello guys, good evening everyone. Welcome to our Thursday episode of our Daily Stock Market Insights. Today is May 28th, 2020. And if this is your first time to watch our video, just um, know that this is a daily thing that we have here. If you have uh, watched our previous videos, uh, as you can see there, uh, I have a video every single day. So I am, so just to give you an overview, I am discussing stocks uh, in the Philippine market. Sometimes I also talk about uh, stocks in uh, the U.S. or international market, and uh, I do live trading. Sometimes I record myself. So those are the things you will see in this channel. So if you like those types of videos, I'm inviting you guys to please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're always updated with our newest videos. In the meantime, I have already prepared the stocks that you guys have requested uh, from our uh, videos yesterday and of course in our Investigrams page. Okay, so these are our stocks. In the meantime, let me talk about our index. I started recording earlier, but it got disconnected, so I have to redo it. So as you can see, I already plotted some um, uh, lines here. Uh, overall, the message here for PSEI is that we are still on a sideways movement, but I like the fact that it is already it is the second day where we have a, a green candlestick formed. So what does this mean? I feel that we will have some more bullish actions in the coming days. And where could be our next resistance? Very near. Okay, so since we're still in the sideways movement here, we're just doing range. So this would be a, a make or break day uh, around 5,694.95. If that breaks that, then uh, that's a good sign because we're starting to, we are going to start triggering the upper bend. And when we do that, sometimes, most of the time, you will see significant movements. Like what happened here, when we started uh, uh, triggering the lower band, there was a significant decline. I feel the same thing. When it goes up here, it starts to trigger upwards, then it might have another uh, dramatic increase in price. Okay, let's talk about amide. Amide, I was uh, mentioning earlier, before I got cut off, that <clears throat> for the past few days, the price was moving downwards, and your RSI has already given us advanced signals that it is going to uh, change its direction soon. And uh, good thing it will, it didn't take a long time before that happened. Uh, it only uh, you know uh, the decline persisted for just a few days, but I think this now is already a start of a, a bounce, uh, especially because we had a green engulfing candlestick today paired with the right volume, as you can see here. Okay, so I feel that if you'd like to enter MY from four point fifty eight to five, that would be a good entry price for all, all of us. Ali, Ali, I think, is also uh, the same. There you go. So Ali did a double bottom over here. Okay. Um, when it did a double bottom, so right over here, so this is your bottom, second bottom over here. And then when it did that, actually it didn't give us a good um, RSI. But what's good about today's candlestick is that it is a green um, bullish candlestick there. So I feel that we are going to continue to move upwards. Uh, it will first challenge your uh, MA20 line. As you, as you know, if you have been trading, uh, MA's moving averages can act as a support or, or a resistance. And we're using Bollinger Band. The line at the center is actually by default MA20. I did not touch the settings. And when it touches that, normally, it acts as a resistance when your candlestick is below that level. But when it breaks that, then it becomes your support. Now, that's the first area that it will challenge before it continues to move up. But if you're a, a long-term investor for uh, Ali, I said, I think anywhere from where it is at right now to the 30 level, that's an okay price. You can start accumulating volume because, you know, volume is also starting to uh, pick up over here. So I don't think that your money will sleep that long. IMI, I mentioned, um, is doing, a, this is an ascending, um, uh, I think this is just a, you know, a, a descending triangle. Yeah, we can uh, research more about that. But um, what I can see here right now is that the trend line is giving us um, downward movement over here. So you have a lower high 
right there and then you did a flat line in your support area so very near um, the support at the same time very near your short-term resistance there so if the market okay if the price tomorrow goes beyond or higher than the uh, diagonal line there then that means we might have some more bullish actions there uh, but you're very near the support at the same time so if you want to get in uh, 5.21 would be a, the support that we see and in case it breaks down in price just make sure to cut your losses early okay if you have a solid conviction because you've researched this company you believe in their fundamentals um, maybe that will uh, change the overall direction of your decisions of, of your actions but if you're just merely trading of course uh, we highly recommend that you cut your loss early and uh, for your cut loss level not to be hit right away you enter near a support because normally a support area is the area where it bounces so the chances of it uh, hitting your cut loss levels is slimmer compared to just randomly entering anywhere uh, and it's not a support area so the chances of your stop loss levels to be hit is high that or high or higher okay so enter at the support level cut your loss early if there's a breakdown in price Miralco as for Miralco we're sitting at a short-term resistance over here and this is a sign of weakness okay the reason why we said that that's a resistance is because of this you have that and for a long time over here that's uh, uh, like it's acting like a ceiling there each time that price level is hit uh, there's a rejection that's forming now today's candlestick is a bearish candlestick that's a sign of weakness so we feel that it will continue to dip but we don't know yet how how you know big of a drop it will take for now there is an ma20 line very near so I'd like to use that as the nearest uh, support level okay so just uh, be mindful of that. Overall, we're still at the very cheap level. But you know what's good about this? It, it started to uh, you know climb up, create a lower uh, you know lower high. I mean higher low. It created a higher low, and then let's see if it will continue to uh, break that. If it breaks that resistance, then that's a good one. This is starting to show a, you know, somewhat uh, similar to a cup and handle formation. But let's see. So those are the key areas to watch out for. PXP. As for PXP, all right, it's just simply validating your previous support. Um, I mean, retesting it. Okay, so this is already a... a an increase in price and this is the support that we have 4.53 so if uh, people will take profit and uh, you know enter anywhere from 4.53 to 4.68 as that's the area we feel um, it will um, respect as the support I think more actions to the upside for this stock in the coming days but um, yeah I think um, just trade this okay for now it's just the uh, the uh, chart that's telling us that it can uh, take a bullish route or it will move upwards but in terms of long term uh, that's something that i highly encourage you guys to to research and read because um, fundamentals also play an important role if you want to be a long-term investor for any particular stock because technical analysis will just teach us when to enter but fundamentals really is your core research and uh, core influencer there because fundamentals will tell you which stock is good to enter at dito okay for dito dito is still doing sideways starting to become more and more constricted each day and we're already uh, right above the uh, uh, ma20 line so let us see if it will sustain in the hold at the MA20 level, if we start breaking the MA20 line, that's a different story because we might drop again, okay? For now, it is respecting, as you can see, it is respecting your MA20 line. 
and we're already right above there. So let's use that level. Actually, 2.20 level is a support level at the moment. JFC. As for JFC, I'd say it might continue to decline. Let's use this level as our support. Okay, so I said early yesterday that there's a green, but we're not out of the woods yet because we have not engulfed totally the uh, red candlestick. That means we have not reached a, a much higher price than this long red. So that, that means we're not out of the woods yet. So true enough. In today's candlestick, there's another red. Wow. 253%. I will not be surprised. Okay, 108.99. That's the uh, nearest support that I see. The reason why I said that is because that used to be your resistance right here. And so when we drop, it just revisit your previous resistance and create a brand new support right at that level. And then most likely it will just bounce right at that area too. Mac. As for Mac, nice move. So see, a green engulfing candlestick supported by another candlestick there, another green. But hey, look, um, the area where it is sitting at the moment is a short-term resistance, by the way. So just be extra careful. Let us see if there will be some, you know, um, retracement or correction that will happen uh, by tomorrow. But you know what? We're starting to, this is my worry here in this area. And then here too. So let us uh, closely monitor that. Um, let us see if it will continue to move up. The nearest one that I see here is The nearest resistance is here, although this area, I think we've already broken that. So it might continue to move higher, but your 5.40 area is uh, the nearest resistance at the moment. Okay. It If it will drop, this is your support. 3.56. That should be your support level. So if you want to uh, do range trading, what's your potential here? Wow, it's a 50%. You see that? Just doing this range trading will give you a possible uh, revenue of 50%. Anyway, so yeah, just uh, use 3.56 as your support and 5.40 as your resistance. Next is tech. For tech, tech is still doing some, uh, you know, um, consolidation. This is the third day, technically, where, that this stock has been moving just within the support level. Um, hopefully, it doesn't break that. But uh, normally, the longer we stay at an area, then the stronger that area becomes a support level. For now. Uh, let's use that as our support because, you know, this used to be resistance right here. Resistance right here became a support during this day. And then for three days to trade, we're just moving here. Your The size of your candlestick is starting to show, you know, uh, reduction. So it's smaller today, smaller than yesterday, right? So that means people are no longer interested in selling your volume at the same time is starting to decline, as you can see there. So they're uh, holding on to their uh, positions at the moment. So let's see if it will continue to move higher. But look at that. See that? Big potential. I don't know how, how big of a an increase that will give us. Wow. Imagine 600%. Amazing. But I don't know how long it will take. But just imagine halfway of that is already 300%. <laughs> okay, so it's up to you if you'd like to use this um, as uh, a stock for long term. But that's, uh, you know, we're still uh, speculating at this point. Because nothing's certain in uh, the current situation of, of um, 
the lockdown. But totally at this point, um, in the short term, this is already your support area. Sec B. For Sec B, yes, we have. This is the second day it supported this bounce. Yesterday, it was just a, a doji right there. And right now, it really confirmed the action. That's a 7.75% increase. So we might see some more promising movements in the coming days for uh, Sec D. Imagine this. You already are at the oversold area. And pair it with the right volume today. I feel that you might have some bounce in the coming days. Okay. Fruit. As for fruit, also promising move right here. A doji and then a um, bullish candlestick. So let's use 1.20. You are very near a, a support level. So we try to uh, see and observe uh, if uh, we have a good uh, trading day tomorrow. If you'd like to trade this stock, uh, make sure to get in very near your 1.20. Uh, actually, 1.20 to 1.25. Some people are already going to get in right there. You're still near your oversold area, so promising setup for fruit. Cebu Pacific, okay. I think Cebu Pacific said that they're starting this July 1st, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I still, you know, my sentiment towards this company is really, really um, conservative. That means they might not be able to recover right away. Because, um, you know, tourism, travel and tourism industries are, are badly hit. And I don't think um, people are going to be interested in engaging in these activities anytime soon. Because we're all in the uh, survival mode. Many people have uh, been laid off. Uh, there are a lot, if I'm not mistaken, more than a million jobs lost in this crisis so i don't think we have the uh, buying power to uh, engage in any form of uh, travel and tourism at the moment so just hang in there cebu pacific uh, it's not yet the time but um, i believe that this company will really recover it's just a matter of time so the key there is how healthy is the cash flow of uh, Cebu Pacific to sustain all uh, the expenses, even the massive reduction in their revenue? Green, green, good job. I think you have a, I think you have a breakout play here. Yes, I feel that this is a breakout play. The volume is still there, right? There's still a significant volume here past two days, and. Um, you already broke out of that resistance. This is your resistance previously because you have these lines over there. And uh, yesterday it was just half of the body and now we have the entire body um, outside. So I feel that it will do something like this. Increase a little bit, retest your previous resistance, creating a brand new support, then it goes higher. Because overall there's still a big potential for this stock. We're starting to recover now for green. URC. URC. Wow. Nice, nice recovery there for URC. And I'm plotting our support right here. And uh, I think uh, it will still respect that. Um, although tomorrow's candlestick is going to be uh, make or break. It's either it will go back to 117 or it will break that MA20 line, which is acting as your short-term resistance. I always follow that uh, concept that when you are below the MA20 line, sometimes your MA20 will uh, act as a resistance. I feel, you know, I feel strongly about this. Oh, it's already past the X date. May 27, this was yesterday. And uh, despite that, we had a green candlestick. This is promising. Okay, normally when it's an X date, that's when the stock price uh, goes lower. But right now, um, I mean, on that day itself, it did not get, you know, it, it wasn't affected that much. And today we have a green. 
so I feel that it will continue to move higher okay and uh, BDO this one I have okay good thing it that it recovered right away it's somehow it just did a, a, a double bottom right here right first bottom second bottom over here and then your RSI is already giving you bullish divergence price momentum is starting to build up so um, I just feel that we will have some more uh, upward movement in the coming days so this one I personally um, invested and I'm um, in here for long term and my average I think was around 101 here but I can add some more volume. Tomorrow is payday. I think we can uh, set aside a small amount to add uh, some more for our stocks, the stocks that we are maintaining. Let's talk about BPI. So I think banks will start to recover, right? I talked about SECB, it was also recovering. BDO, I see a good sign there. BPI, same thing. But you're just very near your um, uh, resistance level. Um, let us see tomorrow if it will uh, continue to break that. If it will, then that's a very promising setup because you will have a breakout play. And look at that. How far are we from the last drop? This is, I think, more than 50% drop from the highest point. Yeah, 50. Okay, see that? So big potential over there. You just uh, you are... 22% away. So, yeah, start accumulating now. If, okay, so your condition there is uh, price has to start higher than 63.95 um, before we can say we now have a full blown breakout play. Then you'll have um, more bullish movements in the coming days. All right, and I think that is it for our first part of our Stock Market Insights today. Uh, if uh, you'd like me to record uh, some more videos or another video tonight, uh, just feel free to drop a comment, okay? Comment down the stocks you'd like me to review so that um, if I see a, a, a good amount of requests, I will record. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching and you have a great night. Bye-bye for now.